Alternator Man here. I don't just deal in alternators. I also work on starters, generators, all kinds of different auto electric products. I've been doing this for years and years. And what you have here is a tilt and trim motor. This is a brand new unit that I've taken apart. It's our part number 827857. Replaces Volvo Penton uh, OE number uh, 8585. Eight, Four five two five three. Uh, also, uh, same as the Lester number one zero eight four five. And if you go to the description down below and cl click the about button, if you click the about button, it'll show you the description. And I'll have all the links to this product in in that description. But I wanted to show you these brand new units. And how good they are. Uh, first off, you got your field housing, and it's got top quality, high powered ceramic magnets bonded inside the case here. And this is one of the reasons why they say never pound on the side of the case with a hammer. If you do, you can you can crack these magnets, break these magnets, also break this bond loose. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be beating on the sides of these housings. Now, near the rear where your brushes go, you can tap on the rear just a little bit, uh, just in case your brushes might be stuck if you're doing some troubleshooting, if that's what you want to know. But don't hit the side of these cases. This goes for regular starters on cars as well. A lot of them are permanent, most all of them are permanent magnet nowadays, so you really have to watch out for that. Uh, second of all, I want to show you the armature. Now, this armature, this is a really good armature. I've had a lot of these units out apart. And some of them are just really rough. You got to really look out. Uh, this one's got the balancing marks in it. He's got these grooves cutting the armature. That means this one's been balanced. I've seen a lot of these where the armatures are not even balanced. And you have to look out for those. Uh, this end of the armature, the commentators have got good thick copper on it. The leads uh, for the armature are welded in here. Uh, some of them will be soldered. Uh, the, the soldered ones are really going to be your cheaper ones. And uh, the solder will heat up and sling out of there. If you're troubleshooting these, you have an old motor, and you find you find one of these bars are black here. Check this lead right here. A lot of times, these leads over time will potentially potentially get loose, and the bars will turn black and become dark. You may have to clean that and resolder that point, but you can do that. Uh, now, this armature, putting these armatures inside of these starter cases, can be quite a quite a deal because these are real powerful permanent magnets in here. And when this armature goes in here, uh, it, it's going to go in on its own once you get so far. Now you got to remember, you get your commentator towards the, the, the end of the housing that's farthest away when you go to put that back together. Now we got to get a good grip on this armature and housing, and we're going to put it together, and you'll see. I right, get this in here. Whoop, see, it wants to jump to the side right away. you gotta be you got to be in control, and you don't want to nick up. You don't want it to nick up these... Uh, these magnets in here, you might be careful, but once you get to so far, then all of a sudden you let go, that thing takes right off and it jumps in there and it doesn't want to come out. So that's how you get that back in there. Now the rear housing or front housing, where it goes through, this, uh, it's a good housing with bushings. It's got a good rubber gasket on it. Uh, make sure that rubber gasket is good and in there. And these housings will have, if they don't have a mark, uh, these are supposed to have a mark on them. This mark is right here on this housing then you go on to this other housing there'll be a mark here and here is the mark on on this one right here here's the mark there so you just want to make sure you line those marks up the reason you line those marks up are for the through bolts that go through so the through bolts go through in the correct position so that's what you do you put that you put that on there and then line up those marks get those marks lined up that gives you the correct position for your through bolts uh, you also want to make sure that all your correct spacers, when you work on this unit, that all your correct spacers are in the right right spot as well. So you want to make sure you get those those exactly right. Now here's, uh, you get to the rear housing. The rear housing has, has got a lot of things you have to look out for. Now these, uh, these starters have overload protection. Uh, there's a little piece of uh, uh, bimetal that's affected by the heat right here. And it goes to these contact points in this in this armature and these contact points can wear out these metal uh, tabs this is like I said this is a 
piece of bimetal as it heats up from the resistance to current flow, uh, it will open up and they will quit. So you got to look at those. Also a point to look at on these units is where this brush solders to this lead on this on this uh, bimetal contact point. These can go bad. This one over here can go bad. You have to look out for that. Make sure these are good. Now before what you wonder how am I gonna put this rear housing onto this case uh, with the brushes. So what you do with that and I've actually done a little bit of work here right now already is uh, what you do is you're gonna uh, you're gonna pull this spring back and right here see this brush is under spring tension when I push it up and it'll go up and down it's under spring tension you can see that spring moving right there it's under spring tension this brush just went up and it just stayed in there I can I can move the brush back and forth by the wire but it's up there the reason being is I've got the this wire over the side of the brush holder that keeps it out of the way so you can uh, load your brushes and to do that what you do is you just uh, unspring the spring right off of here bring the spring up and then you just uh, hook the spring right over the edge and then push this one back now other ones will work differently you might have to get a little hook like you can make a hook out of a uh, you can make a hook out of a coat hanger a little piece of wire or something uh, sometimes you got to get down in there and hook those brushes and pull them up there's a lot of different ways to do that but you just want to make sure that you get it uh, just right uh, to, you know to pull those brushes back now this way see I've done this and the brushes will just be out to the side and what I'll do is I'll just unhook those now I'm working on this gasket making sure this gasket is all in here just right uh, and again uh, there's gonna be a is it gonna be a mark on here but this doesn't really we don't have to worry too much about the mark because it's got this rubber boot on it um, to line it up so we know which way it has to go because of that rubber boot. I want to get this gasket all in here just right. The gasket's giving me a hard time and it's something you're going to probably have to work at as you go. And I'll probably have to work this gasket in here right at the end. So what you want to do then is you get this on there and we're going to go sideways here. Get those brushes to go in there and... Get it, get in there just right so the brushes, uh, bushing hits in the center, center piece, and it pushes on. It can give you a hard time here. Make sure we're back right. Make sure we got that right. Hit that in the center, and push this down, and get that bushing to go in there just right. See now that bushing's. That's going in there now, but what I want to do then is I'm going to work around and I'm going to get this uh, I'm going to get this uh, uh, gasket all in here right. And then once I get the gasket in here right, uh, when those brushes are on that on that commutator just a little bit, then you get in here with a little pin or something, and where your springs were over the top of that over top of that brush holder holding it back, you're just going to push those springs in and let them pop in. Push them over till they click in. There you go. Now that went in. Now there's tension on that brush. And you're going to flip it over and do the other side. And make sure that's in. Then you're going to go around and make sure your gasket's all in. And from there you're going to put your through bolts in. And get this thing all buttoned down and tightened up. And make sure that you have your O-rings on it. Wherever you need your O-rings. You've got your little bolts here. Uh, there's little washers and little O-rings. These Even these bolts have O-rings on them. So you want to make sure you're... Your gasket's all in here right and that your o-rings are in here right and away you go you'll be all set for the for a, a good season of boating uh if not we we've got this top quality motor i have a lot of other motors as well uh whether it's farm industrial truck marine automotive you name it i have tons of different things have availability to all different type of product as i said go to the about button below click on that and there'll be a link right to my site a link directly to this trim motor as well to other trim motors as well we have many trim motors lift motors starters alternators uh switches solenoids everything you can think of uh just go to our site and check it out